Let's go ahead and open up the 2011 QR code image generator. And as you can see, there is a V card option. There is also a common encoding option now in this version, along with the barcode properties, image and color properties, and caption properties. Let's go ahead and take a look back at the V card. We're going to go ahead and enter some information. This is uh, an option that's very good uh, when you want to encode contact information uh, to place on a business card. It will generate a QR code barcode for you. You can save that barcode and apply it to a business card. As you can see, we're, we have entered the personal information. Now we're entering contact information, including the phone number and email. And we're going to go ahead and enter also a website and also a mailing address. And once that's done, you have the option to generate an image file. You can copy it to a clipboard as well to paste into another application or you could print directly to the printer. As we look in the common encoding section, uh, one of the things about this uh, option is that you can only encode one field at a time and when you do that, for example, to encode the phone number, it will clear out everything in the vCard tab if you go back to the encoding and enter in a website it will also clear the phone number so you can generate a QR code based off of one field using the common encoding tab And as we take a look at the barcode properties, uh, the feature data to encode will allow you to enter data to generate a barcode. And we still have uh, the properties, including top margin, left margin, the encoding mode, uh, includes byte, alphanumeric, and numeric, the version. This will change the size of the barcode. Error correction level where H is a has a 30% recovery rate for data. The apply tilde option that will allow you to encode functions. But let's go ahead and take a look at the X dimension. Where you can also increase or decrease the size of the barcode. As you can see we've increased it to 0.27 and if we decrease it to 0.03 you can see that the barcode is much smaller and the image and color properties includes image DPI the orientation of the barcode and you can also modify the foreground and background uh, colors of the barcode In the caption tab, you can add text to the top or bottom of the barcode. Let's go ahead and look at some of the, the some of the other options. You can save a file, print an image, save a generator value, or load generator values. And you can also create multiple barcodes using a text file. Let's go ahead and take a look at that multiple barcode uh, creation option. If you have data in a text file, let's say we have a list of employees' names, 
we can actually in this now in this version use an option that will allow you to modify the image uh, by default the image is a GIF but now you can actually change the image type within the file in this example we are going to type in image colon and the type of image that we want to create here we're creating a GIF but say we wanted to change the image type within the data file you can also do that you can type in image colon and PNG if we wanted to create a few PNG files and once we save that file and return to the image generator click on file create multiple barcodes and then we're gonna load that employees text file it will generate a few images and when we take a look at that file when we take a look at the files you'll see that four of the files are generated as GIFs the rest are PNGs and you can use this to generate many different types of barcode image files